What's going on guys? How you all doing? Today what I've got for you is an awesome Bundesliga starter team. So we've had the Premier League, the Serie A, and now we're heading to the Bundesliga. And out of all of them that we've put together, the attack especially in this side looks insane. It's the best. It is just the best, hands down. So what I want to do is eventually after we've done the Liga 1, the La Liga, and all that good stuff, is put together an ultimate hybrid of all of the best players if I can get some chemistry. So if you like the sound of that, drop a like. 2,000 likes would be amazing. If you're needing game codes or anything game related, head over to g2a.com. Use the code Fuji on every single order to get yourself a discount. Stock up on Xbox Live, PSN, because FIFA 18 is pretty much here. So are we ready to have a look at the Bundesliga starter team? Let's go. So if any of you guys are watching this video from Germany, let me know in the comment section. Do you follow the Bundesliga? If so, what team? But anyway, like we already discovered, it is the Bundesliga for today. And we're using the 4-3-1-2 formation. We did this with the Serie A side. And personally, Personally, with FIFA 18 and how it's playing, it's all about moving that ball really quickly. So if we're using a 4-3-1-2 formation, creating triangles and the players that we've got in this team, it should work really well. So here we go. Goalkeeper position, we are using uh, Castells, and this guy is 6'5". That's all you need to know, really. Good diving, good reflex saves, and somewhat decent handling. I personally would say don't really pay too much attention to the goalkeeper. I, I would actually recommend leaving that position until last and seeing what you're left with in terms of your budget because goalkeepers you know if it's anything to go by on FIFA 17 16 15 they're still going to make mistakes but with the goalkeepers on the game they're going to be flooded so even if you don't purchase this guy you're going to have someone that's going to be meeting your certain requirements that you're looking for so I'm using him he's a Belgian beast and he's making the team so dropping in the right back we have used visor and this guy is very attacking in real life and in a formation like this you want your fullbacks to not push up completely and leave you exposed at the back but you do want them to create width for your team so you can hold possession and that's why I want him I used him at the start on FIFA 17 and he was perfect four star skills four star weak foot and he should have some pretty nice stats in well pace uh, well with FIFA 18 everyone's being cut with pace I don't know what's going on maybe they're calculating it in a different way which is fine but yeah his dribbling and his defending should be pretty good and up to the standard to be using him in our starter team with our first center back we had to drop in this guy Abraham six foot two medium medium work rates and not to mention he's gonna be quick well on FIFA 18 like I literally just mentioned with the pace being cut on every single card I believe that he should be near enough 80 maybe 77 uh, 79 He's going to have really good sprint speed and with the height, the physical, the defending, perfect for any real like budget team or starter team. So in our case, we're using him in our starter. Solid, looks good and I hope he performs. So now we need to get a nice partnership going on. First one is Abraham. Next to him, we have Stark. Identical height being six foot two, And this guy was a silver on FIFA 17 and I used him and he was so OP. Like definitely a gold standard then he got upgraded it was a shame that that upgrade didn't come at the very start so we could have used him in cheap teams it's never too late on fever 18 he will be a gold and he makes our side pace physical defending that partnership big thumbs up so who have we placed in that left back position it's going to be the hot prospect Augustinson. he's only recently joined the bundesliga he had himself a team of the season so do expect a nice upgrade i don't really know how much pace he's going to receive because ea are going a little bit crazy with that stat his overall card though will be very nice good dribbling passing physical defending and he has a good amount of height i think he's five foot ten or five foot eleven if i remember rightly so a nice solid left back and if crosses are being whipped in, he should be able to help you out. So he makes our team. So right bang in the middle of this team, we have ourselves Bazor. He's recently moved to Wolfsburg and that's the rock that we're looking for. Good pace, comfortable with the ball. He's quick with his feet and he will be able to get tackles in with six foot medium, medium work rates. I mean, it's perfect, really. That's what we're looking for with this formation. We don't want someone to always stay back. At times, you do need to push on to add pressure. So he looks perfect. And I don't think many people are going to be looking for him because he has only joined the Bundesliga. So try and buy him quick. He could be a cheap gem. In the left center mid position, I've used Campbell on FIFA 17. He was absolutely quality for me. So I'm wanting that to return to my starter team. And as we do have Bazor to hold it down in the middle, it's going to give Campbell himself the license to roam free up and down the pitch, dropping back, collecting the ball, and then pushing on using those playmaking attributes. He's going to be good, man. So, yeah, 
definitely buy him. Obviously, with any team that you build, you want yourself a strong midfield. This guy is a must purchase. Januzovic on FIFA 17, he was so good. I would even use him in expensive teams. He made my starter team before. I would then continue to use him. He offered so much going forward, scoring goals, tracking back, and with Campbell and himself with high to high work rates, it is quality. You've got yourself two strong midfielders with Bazor sitting right in the middle. I think that is close to perfect. So I like that. It's a nice midfield. So in that cam position, we're looking for someone who is good with their feet, four-star skills, relatively good pace, and Mali is ticking all the boxes. I think he could even get a slight upgrade. You guys, if you follow the Bundesliga, let me know. If that is the case, absolutely perfect. It's just going to add to the card. So yeah, good pace, good enough shooting. He will be perfect to be feeding the ball to the strikers. You wait until you see this partnership. It is the best out of any starter team that I've built. Let's go. The theme that we have going on in this attack right now, pace, height, and skills. First striker is going to be Oregi, and I was hoping Newcastle could get their hands on him if that was in fact a permanent deal or a loan. Well, he has transferred over to Wolfsburg on loan from Liverpool, and he looks very good. His pace should go up a little bit, shooting, dribbling. He's six foot one. He's actually six foot one, and I'm going to predict that he's going to be a real cheap B. So, it will be in your best interest to get your hands on him straight away. Try him out. That's what I'm going to do. So, Riggy, he makes our team. And finishing off the best overpowered attack that we've built so far, it is Paulson. This guy is six foot four, bringing the pace, the skills. Can you build a better attack? I'm waiting. Let me know in the comment section. Recommend me some players because it's going to be very difficult. You have Riggy, who is six foot one with pace, Paulson, six foot four with pace. So, if the overpowered mechanic is crossing then you've got tall players to head that if it's dribbling weaving in and out you've got players to do that it's just insane i cannot wait to try that partnership and those two will definitely make my team the hybrid that i'm intending to build and then i might go to the syria take a few players from there it's gonna be just brilliant so if you're excited for that drop a like but that right there guys is my bundesliga starter team let me know what you think of it if you want to see a league one or la liga let me know in the comment section so thanks ever so much for watching and i will see you soon team out Peace.